Hey everybody, it's a beautiful day uh, out here in the Keys, especially out in the back country where we're at now. So the plan, while it's so freaking hot and humid, uh, it's kind of like, ugh, just a pain trying to leave my place with that nice air conditioning. But I figured, hey, I know what I'll do. I'll go under the water where it's nice and cool or not really that cool, it's probably mid 80s, but still much nicer than standing out here in the sun. So, I dug out all my dive gear, got all ready. I figured I'd come out. I wanted to recon these two islands, and there's another one beyond there. Um, and instead of my usual just drive around, take a look at it, I'd do some snorkeling around it, do some lobster recon, maybe uh, spear some a uh, couple of snappers, call it an early day, do a catch and cook, make a lot of people happy. But... <laughs> I got everything. I got my um, flippers. I brought the uh, PVC spare gun. I put new line on it. I even remembered to mount the GoPro on it. That's all good. I may even remember the dive flags. I'm safety first. But I forgot my dive mask. Oh, when I pulled it out of the bucket, it was just black mold on it. So I took it inside in my bathroom, threw it in some hot water, some bleach, scrubbed it down, got it cleaned up put on my counter to dry, and I left it there. So, plan B, we're going fishing. But I'm still gonna do the recon of this place here because it's kind of interesting. Two, I need to try to find a um, small blue crab uh, location or spot or technique. I can get the, the tarpon ones, but I need smaller ones for permit and bonefish. So I'm gonna work on that a little bit. And then if I've got enough time, I'll spot check a couple of uh, inshore tarpon spots and then maybe drift some flats so that's the revised plan so what interests me about these keys is one they're in the middle of the flats so they're very not uh, much not accessible and then there's a lot of uh, pretty deep cuts along all these uh mangroves that i find really uh appealing looking so I wanted to dive these and just check them out and I'm sure I can get some nice snappers out of them uh, But also to see if they're a good lobster spots as well for uh, later on in the next couple months But you can see how undercut that is here. And this is just one of the small keys So let's check out the big guy. There's a main cut that goes right through the center of it I wanted to check out it's kind of a cut that goes through here Partially and then it closes up, but it still flows all the way through kind of wanted to check this zone out all oh, those cuts along there not much life I've been seeing but this uh, area doesn't get a lot of current since it's not in the middle of any channel way Yeah, not seeing very much of anything. Then it cuts through that opening that goes to the outside there, but that'd be it. Just no water flow. That's why it's so silty. Not holding very much life here. Oh well, it's good to know at least. There was a sawfish right there. Oh, gonna lose them. Come back, Mr. Sawfish. I just want to take some video of you. Yeah, that is a sawfish. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna lose them. Go back in that sand spot. 
I thought it was two nurse sharks uh, kissing or something, but eh, I lost them. Checking out my juvenile tarpon spots and nothing. Not even any kudas either, so I think we're still a bit early. Need to get closer to uh, fall time. So, moving on. Well, I just searched five different islands and no mullet. No tarpon, no mullet, that's sad. So I gotta scrape up some other style of fishing, see if we can catch something. Something hit it, but I think we're looking at jacks. Oh, let go. Oh, look at that big old school of them. Not what I was looking for. Oh, they're chasing it. A little bit more wary now. That thing's got treble hooks. Oh, those are, those are big mangrove snappers. I thought those were jacks. Those are just big mangroves. Well, that one hit it. Just didn't stick them. Oh, it's on it again. And scared it off. All right, I think we've got our cuda bait. Nice blue runner. Get a couple of these, I think, and they'll do us right. I'm just going to use them as chunks, so two should do me. All right, this little runner is sacrificing itself for the cause of catching one of those stupid kudas. So I'm just going to use a chunk rig. I'm going to go ahead and throw this one on a bobber, but I could probably throw it without. We'll just see. I've got a long stretch of wire on this guy, about a little over a foot of wire. Nice chunk of bait there. I had a nice black tip follow up my lure earlier, so that's always a possibility as well. Just gonna chunk it back over there where those schools of kudas are and put the hurting on them. There's a tarpon down here. Just swam right next to them. There they are right there. Two of them, three of them, four of them, five of them, six of them. All little juveniles. Hoping they were gonna come after my big chunk bait. Oh, oh, big shark got it. Oh, big shark got it. Big shark got it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that big body come up. Uh-oh. Well, I'm not sure if I would have rather had that tarpon. Rather than this big dude. Let's see what size he is. Ah, <sighs> beautiful day sleigh ride. Take me home, Sharky. That way. Uh, Alrighty. Just want to take a look at you. Nice size. Uh, 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 nice.
nice lemon shark. Oh. Gets bigger as it gets too closer to the top. Nice lemon shark. Hey, watch the kayak. Let's get you up one more time. Take a look at you. Ah, dang it. All right, I think I'm gonna bring him up one more time and let this guy go. Look at that dude. All right, you're off. Ah, dang it. Go, run, run. Oh, I don't want to fall in. Uh, there he goes. Lemon sharks, not the most exciting fighters, but they get bulky. <laughs> this basin is full of little juvenile tarpon. Every time I cast to them, they, they'll nip the tail, but uh, a whole school of them will follow. I think it's just a little too early of them to go on a feeding frenzy, and there's no uh, water movement, but Every time I reel it in, they're following it. So I'm just trying different variable. I keep getting weeds. They're swimming all underneath me. Little smart asses. Look at that, there's like six of them down there. Go ahead and take this. Oh, stupid jacks. I don't want you guys, I want the tarpon. Well, I think I'm gonna call it. The tarpon are rolling all around me. They're uncooperative. They're just out screwing around. I think if I waited until uh, after sunset, that would their turn on time and then I'd probably pick them up pretty easily. But uh, I wanna get back in before dark. Uh, now that I know they're here, it shouldn't be very difficult. I know where a spot where there's a pilchards over there, being by a small mesh cast net, laid out some live baits out here and then whack them. But uh, otherwise, uh, that one shark will be the one. At least it was a good one. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.